Yeah, hello, welcome back. Uh, today we will uh, introduce uh, Lecture 8 uh, of the same chapter, Gender and Relationships. Um, uh, today we will have a very simple lecture. We won't focus on something uh, complicated, but we will consider a set of vocabulary items that are very important uh, that you uh, have a very uh, good command on. <coughs> Now, the vocabulary items are on page 51, and the, you've come across, the, across them in the reading passage, so they're not entirely unfamiliar. Um, if you uh, would care to turn your books to, uh, your textbooks to page 51, you would find exercise number one, finding meaning in context. Here are some words, let me just read the directions. Here are some words and expressions from gender differences in communication on page 48, 49. Find them in the passage. Now this is the exercise. You're supposed to find these words in the passage, notice their context, how they are used in a sentence. That, well, that's, what mean, that's what context means. And try to guess their meanings. Then match the meanings on the right to the words and expressions on the left, write the letters on the lines. That's a very easy uh, exercise, of course. Um, so let's say the word anatomous, this word here, which line do we have? Uh, of course, which occurred on line 49, in line 49 in the, in the, uh, in the text. Um, so what does anatomous mean? Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you go back to the reading passage on page 48, and you go to pay, um, line 49, this is line 45, if you notice, it's marked here, 45, so 46, 47, 48, 49, you find the word anonymous. You find the word anonymous, right? Now, what you're supposed to do is kind of figure out what the word anonymous means. What the word anonymous means from the context. Let's say you don't know what it means. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just read the sentence. The last sentence begins here. This is where the last sentence begins. Furthermore, we, which is the author, we thinks that online communication leads to all the misunderstandings and confusions of face-to-face -face communication between men and women. However, she feels that it is potentially liberating because people can be anonymous. It is liberating because people can be, you can be anonymous. What do you expect that to mean? Anonymous. Okay. What do you expect that to mean? So we have a list of words here. You have A, different, B, ways of speaking, C, related to or caused by, D, connect with, interact with another person. E, having an understanding with another person, mutual understanding. F, closeness. G, feeling what another person feels. H, stay with. I, have control or power over. J, results of research. K, speaking with confidence. Uh, L, freeing, and M, unknown or not named. So the answer is M. M. Unknown and not named. That's what anonymous means. On the internet, you can be anonymous. No one can know your face. Uh, how no one can know what you look like, what you sound like, what your voice sounds like. 
uh, and no one can know your name. So you can stay anonymous. Anonymous. Assertive. Assertive. On line 38. Okay. Line 38 is here. So this is line... Thirty-five, six, seven, eight. Where did, where's the word assertive, uh, assertive? Here it is. Here's the word assertive. Okay? Assertive. So, the beginning of the sentence. Always go to the beginning of the sentence. He, uh, her, research, her research showed that on internet discussion boards, men tended to be more assertive than women. Tended to be more assertive than women. Would you be assertive? Assertive. What do you think that means? Assertive. Try to guess. If you can't guess, go back to the sentence before that. So that, to, in order to help you guess. What about online communication? Can one determine another person's gender just by reading their written words? Susan Herring thinks so. In a 1994 talk, at a panel called Making the Net Work, she said her research showed that on internet discussion boards, men tended to be more assertive than women. So that really didn't help us. A lot. We would have to um, have the word mentioned before that uh, in order to know what the word assertive means. To be honest, that wasn't a big help. But from assurance, men tend to be assertive more than women. Um, and if we could guess fr the meanings from the list here, uh, have uh, would you think it's a different ways of speaking related to or caused by connect with interact with another person have having an understanding with another person mutual understanding closeness feeling what another person feels stay with have control or power over hmm results of research speaking with confidence or freeing? Well, I think we are between these two here. Speaking with confidence and having control or power over. We are between these two. Okay, but the answer is K. Okay. Assertive. So men online tended to be having more confidence than women. Okay, speaking with confidence. There you have it. Right. Now, this, uh, I think you, you got the idea. Let's just go through them. Uh, associated with, associated with, uh, you would have, um, the, your best uh, choice would be um, uh, related to or caused by, this one, related to or caused by, which is C, right? 
when you're associated with something, that means you're related with something. Um, dominate, to dominate, to dominate something is to have control or power over. So when you want to dominate a conversation, to have total control over the conversation. So we have uh, I here. Um, empathy. What does empathy mean? Um, uh, ha having to do with feelings. Uh, when you feel empathy, empathetic. Um, um, so that means you feel what another person is feeling. Okay, so that's G. And uh, findings, when you find something, findings, that's results of a research are usually called findings. So that's J. Uh, intimacy, when you have an intimate relationship with uh, someone or something, that means you are very close uh, to him or it, and that is F, intimacy. Liberating, when you are liberated with, uh, uh, from something, that means you are free. L. Um, rapport is one of those difficult words. Um, uh, uh, we, when you go to um, a chapter, uh, page number nine. Line nine report versus report. Okay, and that's a method as to how women speak. Now, um we are left with different choices, such as different ways of speaking, connect with, interact with another person, having an understanding with another person, mutual understanding. So you're left with these, uh, uh, with it, with these, uh, with these choices, um, um, and uh, how do you get to know? the answer is to eliminate what you know. So when it comes to, when you read, let's say you don't know the meaning of rapport, but you know the meaning of varying, varying meaning different, right? So you know that rapport is not different. Stick to, you know that stick to is not ways of speaking. Um, But you know that it's stay with, so you know that stick to is H. Okay. And uh, uh, speech characteristics uh, is um, um, ways of speaking. That's B. Now you're left with two choices on the left and two, choi two choices to your right. So one says connect with, interact with another person. And E, having an understanding with another person or mutual uh, understanding. Um, when it comes to you know, relating, you, have, you can relate to someone 
that's what men do when, in, in their speech. They relate, okay, because according to the text, it's relate, um, report uh, versus rapport. Um, uh, <clears throat> relate versus uh, debate. Sorry. So, so relate uh, is, 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 a, is a woman, a women's speech characteristic. So uh, having an understanding with another person or mutual understanding, so that would be E. And then finally D is rapport, is connect with or interact with another person. And that's D. Now, uh, these uh, words, anatomous, assertive, associated with, dominate, empathy, findings, intimacy, liberating, rapport, relate, speech characteristics, stick to and varying, are all new words introduced in this chapter. It will be very nice if you had a chance to have a very good command over these new set of words and phrases. I highly advise you to understand them very well and probably go to the next step and have a good command over their spelling, regardless of the meaning, of course. Uh, I mean, that in addition to the meaning and usage, of course. We would like to stop here and move to the next lecture. Thank you very much.